Hello, I'm Linda Horner, an Administrative Patent Judge here at the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Thank you for your interest in learning about the Patent Trial and Appeal Board. The United States Patent and Trademark Office is the federal agency responsible for granting U.S. patents and registering trademarks. The office employs more than 10,000 people and is headquartered in Alexandria, Virginia, with satellite offices in Detroit, Denver, Dallas, and the Silicon Valley. The Patent Trial and Appeal Board, often called the PTAB, is a business unit within the office. The board is made up of administrative patent judges, along with the director and deputy director of the USPTO, the commissioner for patents, and the commissioner for trademarks. The judges are located in the Alexandria headquarters and in each of the four satellite locations. Judges are responsible for adjudicating two different types of cases. First, they decide appeals from adverse decisions of patent examiners as to questions of patentability and patent applications. The board's role is to decide the correctness of the examiner's decision. Second, the judges conduct trials established under the America Invents Act to determine patentability of issued patents. In deciding cases, the judges typically work in panels of three. The judges review briefs prepared by the parties and typically hold a hearing to enable the parties to orally argue their case. After the hearing, the judges prepare written decisions on the issues in dispute. Throughout a case, the judges routinely confer with each other, either face-to-face, -face, by telephone, or by video conference. Administrative patent judges are required by statute to be persons of competent legal knowledge and scientific ability. All judges must have a law degree, and in most cases, judges also have a bachelor's or higher degree in an engineering or scientific discipline. Judges are also required to be an active member in good standing of a state bar, and they must be a U.S. citizen or national. Before joining the board, many judges worked at some time during their professional career as a patent examiner at the USPTO. Some judges come to the board with considerable work experience in private law practice, corporate legal departments, or other government agencies. Though not required, the board prefers candidates with 10 to 15 years of patent experience, including experience prosecuting or litigating patents. Judges at the board are valued highly for their versatility in handling cases over a wide variety of technology areas, their analytical and writing skills, their oral communication skills, and their ability to work well in a team environment. The typical background of an administrative patent judge is someone who has a technical background in either an electrical engineering field or a science field, as well as patent law expertise. We have a, a wide variety of backgrounds. People are uh, trained in chemistry, they're trained in electrical engineering, they're trained in, in computers, uh, but uh, the important thing is flexibility. We have a number of judges trained in chemistry who are doing cases involving electronics and computers. So the ability to work in a variety of technologies is an important factor. I think the average judge has a, a combination of prosecution and litigation experience. There are a certain segment of judges that have come up from being an examiner and through the patent office uh, who may have uh, either exclusively or mostly prosecution background. And I think there are other judges who may have clerked for a, a judge and then gone uh, to private practice who may have a mostly litigation um, background. So, I think it, it's a good mix, but both of those skills are useful and I think someone with an entirely litigation background can handle being an APJ and someone with an entirely prosecution background uh, would be able to deal with the job as well. I think just about all the judges have more than 10 years of experience, whether it was in as an examiner or uh, private practice, in-house corporate practice, uh, whatever it might have been. Uh, everyone's pretty experienced, uh, some or many have more than 20 years of experience and uh, some have 30 years or more experience. Uh, oftentimes a combination of private practice, government service, private practice, government service. So um, again, there's not, there's not a typical experience level, but everyone's pretty experienced, I would say. When new judges join the board, 
they participate in an oath ceremony. During this ceremony, they are administered the oath of office in front of family, friends, and colleagues. The oath ceremony publicly marks the start of a judge's tenure with the board. From time to time, the board announces vacancies for judge positions. If you're interested in becoming a judge, check for vacancy announcements on the USA Jobs website located at www.usajobs.gov.